Good morning Year 7 and welcome to today's maths lesson. Here's the starter for today. Can you find 100 times 67 for me? Then can you answer my question? How many halves are there in 3? And finally, if 3 rulers cost £12, how much would 1 ruler cost? And when you've worked out how much 1 ruler costs, how much would 4 rulers cost? Please pause the video and answer these questions in your light blue books now please. Right, let's go through the answers. 67 times 100 means I need to move my 6 and my 7 up my place value table two places to give me 6,700. When I'm asked how many halves are there in 3, well if I split 3 into 3 lots of 1, like so, Each of these bars is 1. I know that within each of those 1s, I can find 2 lots of a half. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So using my bar model, I can work out that there are one, two, three, four, five, six halves in three. Each of these little parts is worth a half. And this is what we were practicing last lesson. where the whole thing adds up to 3. And for my last question, I asked you if 3 rulers cost £12, how much would 1 ruler cost? Well, we know that if we've got 3 rulers, like so, 1, 2, 3, altogether, those 3 rulers are going to be worth £12. To work out what one of those rulers has cost, we need to divide the 12 by 3, so one ruler will cost £4. And then to work out how much four rulers would cost, I now need four of these, one, two, three, four, which is going to cost me four plus four plus four plus four, which gives me 16 pounds. They're pricey rulers. Okay, let's head into today's lesson. Quick recap of last lesson. We were looking at and I said if we did 2 divided by a third, I needed to draw a big bar to represent my 2. I could split that big bar into two ones, and each of those ones I could split into three lots of a third. So when I'm asked how many thirds are there in 2, or what's 2 divided by a third, the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 thirds in 2. I then asked you, how could I work out 2 divided by 2 thirds using the same model? Well, I could put each of these thirds into a pair to give me 2 thirds, like so. And I know there are 1, 2, 3 lots of 2 thirds within 2. Over to you, Year 7, in your light blue books, using this model, can you work out 3 divided by 3 quarters? Pause the video for 30 seconds and work that out now, please. 
Write the answer I was looking for. I'm splitting it into sets of three quarters. And I know there are one, two, three, four lots of three quarters. For quarters, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And today we're going to look at a different method for working out how to divide fractions. First of all, I've got 6 divided by 1 tenth is 60. Pause the video. What do you notice about these numbers? AJ, what do you notice about the 6, the 10 and the 60? Exactly, 6 multiplied by 10 would give me 60. Or 6 times 10 divided by the 1. OK. Here's question 2. I've said that 6 divided by 2 tenths gives me 30. What's changed and why? Pause the video, have a little think. OK, this time I've divided my answer by 2. And I happen to have a 2 here in my question. 6 times 10 would give me 60, divided by 2 would give me 30. Here's another one for you, question 3. I've got 6 divided by 3 tenths equals 20. Pause the video, what's changed now and why? OK, this time I can relate... 6 times 10 gives me 60, and I can divide that by 3 to give me 20. Here's my 3, and I've divided it by 3 to give me my answer. And finally, I've got 6 divided by 4 tenths is 15. How do you reckon these numbers match up to give you your answer? Pause the video, have a little think. OK, so the pattern this time is we've got 6 multiplied by the 10, divided by the 4, gives us our 15. And we call this keep, flip, change, or KFC for short. So in your dark blue books for me, Year 7, can you write the title, Dividing Integers by Fractions? Underneath, can you write keep, flip, change, and in brackets, KFC? And when you've got that written down, can I see pens down, eyes on me? I'll go through an example and then you're going to do an example. So pens down while I go through the first example. I've been asked to work out 2 divided by 1 fifth. And I'm going to solve it this time by using my keep, flip, change. This means I need to keep my first number as it is. So the 2 just stays as a 2. The flip means I need to flip this fraction the other way up. So currently the 1's on the top and the 5's on the bottom. I'm going to flip it so I've got the 5 on the top and the 1 on the bottom. And I want to change the sign. The sign at the moment is a division. I'm going to change it to a multiply. Now you remember from when we were multiplying fractions earlier this term, I need to write the 2 as a 2 over 1, because 2 over 1 means the same as 2. And now I just multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom. So I get 2 times 5 is 10, 1 times 1 is just 1, 10 over 1 is just the same as 10. Over to you, Year 7. In your dark blue books, pause the video and work out this question for me. Right, let's go through it. This time I want to keep my first number the same. My 3 stays as a 3. I want to flip my fraction the other way up. The 7 goes on the top, the 1 goes on the bottom. I change my sign to a multiply. I want to write a 1 on the bottom here just so I don't get confused. I've now got 3 times 7 which gives me 21. 1 times 1 just gives me 1. 21 over 1 is just 21. Make sure you've got this example in your dark blue books for me. 
And then mini whiteboards or light blue books, what's three divided by one fifth? Let's go through it. Keep my first one, flip my second one, change my sign, three times five gives me 15, one times one just gives me one, 15 over one gives me 15. Mini whiteboards, how about now? Let's go through it. Keep my first number the same. Flip my fraction over so it becomes 3 over 1. Change my sign to a multiply. 5 times 3 gives me 15. 1 times 1 gives me 1. So I get 15. Over to you, Year 7. In your light blue books, please pause the video for 10 minutes and have a go at these questions for me. And these are the answers. Please check your work and see how you did. So, so far we've been looking at dividing by unit fractions, where the number on the top is a 1. However, sometimes the number on the top isn't going to be a 1. It might be a 4, it might be a 3, it could be anything at all. But the process remains the same. So I'm going to do the example on the left, and then in your dark blue books you're going to do this example underneath this square. So first of all, I want to keep, flip, change. I want to keep my first number the same. My first number is a two, I keep it the same. I flip my second fraction over, which gives me five over four. And I change my sign from a division to a multiply. I want to write my two as a two over one, just so I don't get confused. Two times five gives me 10 on the top. 1 times 4 gives me a 4 on the bottom. I could simplify that by dividing top and bottom by 2, which would give me 5 over 2. Over to you, Year 7. In your, light blue book, in your dark blue book, sorry. have a go at this example for me. Pause the video and work that out now. Right, let's go through the answer. This time I keep my 3 the same. I flip my second fraction over, so that becomes 10 over 3. I change the sign to a multiply. I can write 3 as 3 over 1. I've now got 3 times 10 gives me 30. And 1 times 3 gives me 3. I can simplify that by dividing top and bottom by 3, which will give me 10 over 1, which is just 10. Please make sure you've got this example in your dark blue books for me. And then mini whiteboards or light blue books, what's 5 divided by 2 quarters? Pause the video, work it out now for me. Let's go through it. I keep my first number, I flip my second one, I change my sign, I write 5 as 5 over 1, I've now got 5 times 4 is 20, over 1 times 2, which is 2. I can divide top and bottom by 2, which will give me 10 over 1, which is just 10. How about now? Pause the video, have a little think. Let's go through it. Keep the first number, flip the second one, change the sign to a multiply, write the 3 is 3 over 1, I've got 3 times 5 is 15, 1 times 3 is 3. Freya, what's 15 divided by 3? 5, perfect. Let's do another one. Pause the video, have a little think. Right, this time we've got 4, keep it the same. Flip the second fraction, multiply, write the 4 as 4 over 1. I've now got 4 times 5 is 20, 1 times 2 is 2, if I divide top and bottom by 2 I get 10 over 1, which is just 10. Or I could think of that as 20 divided by 2, which would give me 10. Ok Year 7, in your light blue books, please pause the video and have a go at these questions for me. 
And these are the answers I was looking for. Please check your work and see how you did. And finally, I'm going to do one more example. I've got 2 divided by 3 fifths. I'm going to use my keep flip change. I keep my first number, I flip my fraction, and I change my sign. Write 2 is 2 over 1. That gives me 2 times 5 is 10. 1 times 3 is 3. Now here, this isn't going to be a whole number. I cannot divide 10 by 3 and get a whole number. I can leave it as this improper fraction, or I could write it as a mixed number, which would give me 3 and a third. Either would be correct. Over to you, Year 7, in your dark blue books. Have a go at this example for me. Right, let's go through it. This time I've got 3, flip my second fraction, make it into a multiply. 3 times 5 gives me 15. 1 times 2 gives me 2. I can write that as 15 over 2, or I could write it as 7 and 1 half. Please make sure you've got this example written in your dark blue books for me. And now light blue books or mini whiteboards, A, B, C or D. Pause the video, have a little think. Let's go through it. 8 stays the same. Flip my second fraction. Change the sign to a multiply. 8 times 6 gives me what, Katie? 48, lovely. 48 over 5. 1 times 5 is 5. So the correct answer is D. How about now? How many times does 3 quarters go into 12? Pause the video, have a little think. Let's go through it. So the question it's asking me is what is 12 divided by 3 quarters? Again, we keep our first number, we flip our second one, we change our sign to a multiply. 12 times 4 gives me 48. 1 times 3 gives me 3. However, I can simplify this. What's 48 divided by 3, Jasper? Exactly, 16. So the correct answer is B. OK, Year 7, please pause the video for 10 minutes, to maybe 15 minutes, and in your light blue books, have a go at these questions for me. They get progressively harder. Start at 1, progress through to 11. Have a go at that now, please. And here are the answers. Please check your work and see how you did. You may have written the improper fractions as mixed numbers. Absolutely fine. And that's the end of today's lesson. Please head on over to Google Classroom for me and submit today's exit ticket. Thanks for listening, Year 7. Always a pleasure. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.